some of you must have had the opportunity of watching the television program Awakening with Brahma Kumaris where he has the free liberty to grill me how much ever he wants and then once in a while I take the opportunity to grill him and settle my karmic account with him my god so today is my turn all the best <laughs> all the best to you oh thank you I need it very badly I've never uh, got the opportunity to sit on the other side so I'm not used to it a lot of people who've interacted with him before especially in his own industry and family and friends and he's done over 300 movies and so has had the opportunity to interact with number of people while you're working in every movie and people professionally loved working with him because of his professional and ethical quality but 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 there was just one sanskar because of which people kept a long distance from him and were very scared to go anywhere near him and that was his anger and anger is a mild word if I have to use for what his past was so we would like you to share with us shortly what you were before and how you've been working on it now with the power of Raj Yoga in terms of your anger sanskar sister I'm not getting angry while she's speaking on the phone I'm just looking at her enjoying see I've got a red and she's got a red hmm? and earlier how would it have been three days back uh, three or four days I don't even remember now I challenged uh, the unit to be shooting in Udaipur mm, they've got yeah and I said uh, my temper is very expensive even if you give me three lakhs five lakhs I want finally I agreed to five crores and they tried their level best pulling wires directly from the plugs not not picking not holding the plug pin coming late joking talking loudly while shooting I said fine did I get angry till now I challenged them and I thought now it's my internship so I had enough of uh, the five years of medical course and then the MBBS then FRCS then the degrees and further and further so now I've got to come to the practical thing as you said practical so now it's my practical grilling, grilling today and uh, I was just thinking sister why not I get operated here and easiest ways would get a heart from a person who's got a very good and spiritual heart and clean pro no problems no working hard on it at all then why should sanskars will be changed easily you know change of heart easier no so what was your past like and how have you worked on it now my past life my past life was uh, actually I thought it was discipline and uh, but it was not discipline it was anger and there's a very uh, good Hindi word for khud, uh, khuddar self-respect I'm Khuddar, I haven't taken money from my father, father-in-law, mother. I came with only 400 rupees to Mumbai. I made my bungalow. I, I don't beg, I don't ask my mother-in-law, nothing. So I thought that was Khuddari, but later on I realized that that, that was ego, anchor. Subtle difference between uh, self-respect, uh, Khuddari and Ahankar, Khuddar. And that, is, that was ego and uh, I lost a lot of things on that, a lot of, lo lot of friends, a lot of business and when you, when angry you lose more than your temper when angry you lose much more than your temper I realized but it was not in my hands, it was just happening I wasn't doing anything, I knew that I realized it but still it happened 
and uh, even in shooting people used to wait all the juniors used to say I'm not going if they make me wait for one or two hours then nobody would come to my room to ask me or tell me inform me the shot is ready they all tell tuja 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 so finally I would just go out and say what's happening oh sir ready 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 so that is bad that was my past and it is past now actually uh, I worked a lot on it I tried to write it on the walls I wrote it in my diaries I tied a knot on my handkerchief those days they're not tissue papers like we used to wear carry handkerchiefs then I worked a lot then I j finally joined a spiritual group I went to 10 days Vipassana where there nobody talks to each other nobody looks even in the eyes you can't read you can't write for 10 days you can't talk on phone nothing I worked very hard finally I realized that the connection with God connection with Shiv Baba and a relationship with him it was a little vague whatever I was trying it was more of a concept and finally the concept became turned or converted into a relationship and that relationship I started talking to God my father and then things changed a lot I worked hard because I wanted to change how easy is it to change with meditation a very very deep rooted sanskar see I tried those things I told you writing on the wall so next to the on the where, <coughs> where I used to go and comb and what do you call that mirror dressing table mirror knots on my things it didn't work but I do give a few marks to my hard work for earlier but in meditation you don't have to do anything it's just like switching on the gas you just want to boil water keep it on the uh, this thing and remain let it remain it will boil after 100 degrees that's my experience I cannot say that this is what Raja Yoga does I don't even know this is my personal experience because I'm I believe in experiment and experience and not reading and discussing you used to earlier say it's very difficult to forgive anybody and very difficult to say sorry to anybody hmm. yes it was uh, I used to say okay even if I have to forgive I'll forgive but I won't forget I will show you one day okay today my position is such I will show you even when I, ch when I was in school I wanted a motorbike and my brother said no you can't ride a bike you're too small what if accident happened and all that before 18 you can't I said okay I will show you one day I will buy four motorbikes always you know just trying to fight for it and never forgetting and forgiving uh, I did not forgive so I had a lot of problems I got into high blood pressure then I thought to forgive and forget was the easiest way was to drink and forget that's also what I tried I failed and it was very difficult one day I fired the hell out of my driver who, was, who had just come he was, I still remember his name is no more late he was what is his name Mishraji and uh, I just fired him because of the accountant I said why didn't you tell me that he has come I've been waiting for him from last 15 days and he, it is not his duty a driver's duty to inform me if my accountant has come because we have a three-story place I used to stay upstairs and the office was down and nobody informed me that he had come and I saw him chatting I said in, in spite, instead of tech, telling me he was sitting here and joking with him and I fired him and I felt very bad I said it's not a driver's duty to inform me it was the accountant's job to just pick up the phone and inform me on the, in the inter intercom so my inner voice said okay you better say sorry to him because I saw his face so low he couldn't speak a word he didn't 
tell me that's not my job shut up he must have told me internally from within and then my inner self suresh abro i said okay give him 100 rupees those days 100 was very big the salaries were 500 so 100 bucks was good then my inner said no you have to say him to tell him sorry 100 bucks now do you trying to run away from the position from the problem i said i put my hand in the pocket i said okay 200 bucks settle finally 300 so my inner self said no you've got to say sorry and i didn't know i could not first time in my life i was trembling i could not say it took me 2 minutes to stand there and think and i said mishra ji and the long pause after mishra ji and i said didn't know how to say sorry i said do you know something uh, you see me you watch me buying those uh, you buy those tablets for me tenormen ha huh, sir so he thought something else is done mistake he bought the wrong medicine or something his face i said no no nothing happened i eat those no because that is because of high blood pressure i'm hypertensive you know so i don't know what happens to me sometimes and i just shout and you know and still not saying sorry and just going on telling him a story about the norman and blood pressure and high and you know and he does know what 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 am i doing so finally uh, i said aapko gussa kiya na i'm sorry i ran away <laughs> and that day that guy went around to the whole society we have a society of 32 bungalows each and i each and every driver each and every staff member of those 32 bungalows no know, knows this story that hamara saab bahut acha hai he is a great man he said sorry to me you know something he just gets angry like that it is not it is his medicine it is his uh, he's got a disease called uh, some bp so he shouts inner his inner self is very nice such a big man telling sorry to me i heard <laughs> this is my experience and uh, it was much much more than giving him 300 500 000 bucks and the best part is i felt very nice i felt very strong and then i got used to saying sorry after that sorry and how is it now what is the situation now I okay. said sorry. <laughs> how do, how were you able to do handle situations like this now or bigger than this? Well, I don't get angry now as much as I used to get before. I don't. It doesn't happen because of uh, two things. One, I go to Murli class, discipline, timing, and before that, I go and uh, meditate. So my sanskars have changed after that. basically that anger was there but the other good qualities were there they were hidden because of that so that went down the other thing came up any particular incident of forgiveness now which you feel you have been able to achieve ha ah, achieve about uh, a year back or something i my one of my relatives came and told me that he's got a problem with a money lender he sending hooligans and underworld guys or some gundas to his home and making noise at the door and trying to break the door and asking for uh, demanding for the money he had borrowed i said what happened he said i borrowed and my check bounced and not a small amount but 3 crores so i said okay call him to sun and sand and we let's have tea there let's discuss let's see what he says so i told the money lender my relative and a friend and his son all of us had coffee and uh, finally he agreed for a certain amount he said okay this is the settlement when will you give i asked him when will you give he said in 60 days okay he said 40 days i said okay 40 days settle this but this but shake hands i paid for i paid for the coffee i had nothing to do with the case and again there was a problem second time there was another meeting same thing was decided again after a few 
weeks or, or a month, I get non-bailable warrants from the court, criminal proceedings against me and my son, which we have nothing to do with it. And any time there was a bell outside the door, I thought police has come. Because I did not want the whole thing to uh, come on the television and all that. But anyway, the next day, it was on the headlines. Suresh Obroy and Vivek Obroy fraud three, three crores from so and so and bouncing check and non-bailable warrants against them, father and son. And I didn't know what to do. I was very angry. First I thought, I'll, do, I'll take the illegal means. I'm going to show him. I'm going to do this. And I called her up also. And she said, no, you can't do all that. You've got to go. Then finally, I took the legal procedure, this thing, uh, hired a lawyer. And uh, what I did, I started bringing him in meditation in the morning and sending him love. And I started requesting God and praying to God, to my father, to give him wisdom and to relieve him of the pain because he's playing such dirty tricks trying to put pressure on me. And I knew that I'm not going to get uh, pressurized by those uh, police things and all that, give him money. But he thought he'll get it out, get out. He had a very good uh, case against me. But though I was, uh, my signatures were not there anyway. So I told him he's being uh, silly, he's being a fool. Finally he'll lose because I'm, I'm true. And I went to, f and what happened after that, I was relieved only he, and he was tensed and yesterday, day before yesterday we won the case. It's not a very small thing when your name is out there in the newspapers and on television news maligning you for something you haven't done and especially when your own reputation and your child's reputation is at stake and also you have a non-bailable warrant against you and you could be arrested any time for it is it a small thing? is it a small incident? yes? now we have two choices hatred anger and then probably resorting to any kind of means to put the other person down second option stability calmness understanding using legal means but not a single wrong thought word or action and, and when, forgiving and forgiveness that is forgiveness when you're stable compassionate and then took it up as a project in meditation to emerge that soul every day and take vibrations from God and send it to Him change the quality of karmic account two options which could have created completely two different destinies now the court will take action against the person right but by forgiving him actually who did you forgive by forgiving him and remaining stable and calm and no hatred and anger and shouting and probably using wrong means to put him down finally who did you forgive you forgive Myself. yourself you choose to live a life which is happy and thereby healthy but sister I just want to tell you that I just wanted to tell everybody that it is possible it is that possible. is why and I love the uh, statement you made one day about stable being stable I didn't understand so I try everything in real life and I note make it a point is what was here stability uh, Last year, one of my family members lost a child in the womb, miscarriage. 
and the whole family was crying it was like a death in the family i went to the hospital i had two choices to cry with them to become low or be stable so i kept strong stable and i took them out took everybody out i made them sit i made the since i was stable and totally unmoved i took them for a, i said i need some coffee and that coffee and everybody came and i said what do you like and nobody you know they thought how can we have a kind of a party or ask for cakes or pastries in this kind of a situation there's a death here this finally the whole thing ended up so beautifully we we enjoyed that like a family meeting going out in a restaurant to have some coffee and tea and if i had also i was just thinking that if somebody is uh, in the falls in a ditch if i am also in the ditch how can i bring him out i have to be outside so this is one more one more example of your uh, classes and uh, what the brahma kumaris and raj yoga i was stable stability taking charge of myself before and, uh, taking and the family before taking charge of family always what happens whenever there is a situation what do we start taking care of we have to take care of them and when we try to take care of others without taking care of ourselves very soon all of us are in pain so meditation gives us the power to first heal ourselves and when we heal ourselves automatically we will be healing everybody else so now that we've heard his experience and i have really witnessed this whole thing through and through when it was happening if somebody can forgive and remain stable in such a big situation can we all do it today can we all do it today yes yes it's only a decision it's not that it's difficult it's only a decision and we will all take this decision because we love ourselves and our family and for our own well being today we choosing love compassion and understanding thank you so much for being here with us and thank i'm sure you so you'll much. be with us again thank you very much thank you Namaste. let's sit one minute in silence again one minute to again if there was any doubt in your mind before whether you can forgive or no an experience stamps what we have decided so let's take that one minute silence and reaffirm surish bhai aap idhar hi aaye i think before the silence i'll ask dr nanda dr chopra and dr prasha just just stand up and then just see the people around just turn back and see this hall is of 1800 people this all full yes your lecture is more popular than cardiologist lecture right very good so that is what spirituality and science means you know she combines spirituality and science that is blending of spirituality and science right she has been she has adequately blended the both both the things so we are very very thankful on behalf of the organizers to both of you thanks a lot thank you so much